Hi friends. It's been so long since I have vlogged or I have like gone my vlogging camera out. But I thought I would try to like bring it back because I have a lot of exciting and big travels that are coming up in the next few months and the rest of the year actually. So I just thought I would get my camera out for shits and giggles and take you along on all the adventures that I do and everything that I get put through, honestly. Um, right now I'm gonna go get my nails done because I am modeling for a boudoir shoot tomorrow. My week is like actually pretty slammed and I'm just not mentally ready for it at all. Um, gonna go get my nails done right now. I'm sitting outside the nail salon and praying that they can get me in because I have to work in the OR tomorrow. I have to drive to College Station to model tomorrow, which is an hour and a half away. Wednesday, I get to play catch up and try to finish this wedding gallery. I head to Colorado on Thursday all the way to Sunday. I am back in town. Then next week I leave for Hawaii. It's a whole thing. So come along with me on my chaotic journey of the month of August and it's July 30th. So let's go get these bad boys. Okay, we're here today and I'm assisting Lexi in her branding shoot today. I'm doing all the behind the scenes. She's my girl. Jenna is a photographer today and we're at the Lumen Room. We're not at my studio, but this place just has bigger vibes, so. But we will be capturing all the behind the scenes of this beautiful girl and we'll be sharing Jenna's work later on. So, busy week, never ends. Okay, never did a nail follow up. This is the nails. She did pretty good. This is my real nails underneath it with two repairs. This is just a bubble bath, super simple. Um, the lighting is so atrocious. I need to figure out how to film in my car better, but we're home now. I need to go edit and make dinner. Andrew, we have a masseuse coming over tonight to do an, a massage for him at 8. So I got like an hour and a half to like get my life together. Nobody like really talks about being a business owner and like how actually lonely and extremely stressful it is. Like right now I feel like I need to go get a second job. It's been so slow with bookings and it's just been so stressful. And I know this is like the ebbs and flow and like we're in the thick of the slow season but... Oh, I just like what I've been on the brink of crying all day. Like, it just, just feel like such a loser. I don't know. I'll be fine. But I do leave in two days to go shoot a wedding. I have a really busy day tomorrow, like I said. Uh, I'm just so, I think I'm just overwhelmed. I'm just stressed. I'm tired. I don't really know what else to do. My little dogs are sitting there wagging their tail waiting for me to get out of the car, which is super sweet and I love them so much. But tomorrow's a new day. Bad days build better days is what Aubrey used to say and I think I literally say that to myself every single day to get me through like these slumps and these like lulls and uncomfortable growth happens when you're uncomfortable so i'm just like hoping that this is like a big step and like a step in the right direction compared to um and i know it's like i have a lot of great things coming up like it's not like i'm not booking like she like get out of my head but just it's a lot it's a lot to plan and i think this is one of the most expensive years of our lives like trying to plan a wedding and just like knowing how many things I have to pay for and like that me and Andrew have to pay for and he wants to redo the house and I feel like such a failure because like I don't make that sort of income to help with building a house straight from scratch and I know he's not planning on that. I don't know. I'm spiraling. Let's go and make dinner. It is actually already Wednesday. I didn't film anything yesterday on Tuesday because it was such a busy freaking day. I got up at 4 a.m. Worked in the OR for seven hours at 12.30. 
headed to college station which was like a two and a half hour drive for me modeled for three and a half hours three hours ish and then i drove another two hours back home crashed out last night i was so tired i worked out at 8 30 this morning um and just ate some steak that andrew left me last night so i'm feeling like a little bit rejuvenated my body is very sore from modeling yesterday so just recovery and recoup now so my house is a mess i have a lot of laundry i need to catch up on before i leave town tomorrow <clears throat> thankfully i don't have to go to the airport tomorrow until 4 30 so i do have like the rest of the day bless it to work out get my stuff done and like finish editing this wedding gallery so today is just like recover get my life in order yeah that's how the week has gone so far i it's like the hardest thing to grasp that how fast life moves it was just monday like i swear yesterday was monday yesterday was tuesday like i'm so thrown off every single day i just like i i just can't keep up and i'm like i feel like i'm a little bit not spiraling but i am in a whirlpool of how fast life is actually going and how quickly things are moving that i just like can't really grasp it and is this how like life goes forever we don't even have kids yet Ugh. okay i'm gonna if i keep talking about it i'm gonna freak out so i gotta go get my hand tattoos removed <clears throat> i have a couple more sessions that i'm working on you can see like that one is still pretty thick and that has not came off yet but this middle finger one i'm praying that it's almost done after this session but i just don't really want it in our wedding video so that's where i'm headed to right now i'm gonna go meet up with savvy and hopefully get some work done and chit chat and drop off some camera film so busy yet productive day it has been a crazy busy morning actually like I say that it really hasn't been that busy but just like a lot of stuff to get done i just am i headed to colorado i'm leaving in a couple hours ahead of the airport i cleaned the house almost finished all of the laundry because i hate leaving with a dirty house and even though i know andrew will probably make it a little bit messy but i digress um i packed did laundry cleaned the house went to the gym I need to blow dry my hair and get ready to go, but I'm leaving for Denver in a few hours. I'm shooting a wedding in Pine, Colorado, and so I'm really excited. I just got done packing my bag, so I'll show you guys um, everything that I packed in my camera gear and just what I got going on. It's kind of a lot, but I'm really excited. It's in a beautiful place in Pine, which I've never been to before, kind of in the mountains, so I'm really excited for that. Um, but let me go ahead and show you my big old camera gear trusty dusty pelican bag i'm gonna try and show you everything that i have in my bag don't look at the background mess so this is just a pelican case it is not the pelican air it's just a regular standard pelican um it's i wish i got the air or i wish i got a larger size but i think this is like kind of the sh medium size um i have two canon r6s ready to go i have a really easy 35 millimeter i think this is a 2.8 Yes, 2. Point, or it's a 1.8 35 millimeter. I use this for really just like receptions because by the end of the day, my hand and wrist hurts so bad. In my backpack, I have, so carrying on in my backpack, I'll have my uh, 28 to 70 2.0. This thing does not leave my camera and does not leave my possession. So I'm gonna have this on me on my backpack, but I will be carrying this onto the plane as well. So that's why I always try to fly with Southwest because I can fly with my bags and i don't have to pay for them so this lives on me i do have a shitload of batteries just packed up in here as well as batteries stuffed in my backpack too and a couple of different charging devices i am taking my dji mini 2 drone so i'm bringing my drone today um, and the controller oh as well as the controller so i will have some drone oh bags are packed ready to go suitcases ready to go just very very neutral basic stuff it's not like a crazy big wedding or a long trip i literally leave sunday at five in the morning so it's gonna be a long weekend but i'm very very great very very grateful and super excited for it um i have a consult call with a potential bride for december um for somebody to associate shoot it for me so i'm excited to meet her and talk with them um 
And then I'm just gonna chill, hopefully get some emails out that I've been procrastinating and head to the airport. Officially made it to Denver, Colorado. I was not prepared. It is 91 degrees in Denver and I was not prepared for how hot it was. So I'm glad that I brought some like lighter outfits because usually I go to Colorado when it's freaking like cold. So it is blistering hot out. Um, I made it in at like 9.30 last night. I was so freaking tired from a long ass day. And me and Jessica just went and had dinner at this really, really cute restaurant. She has the best food recommendations every single time they come. Um, I just got done working at a little coffee shop and called Weathervane Weather Weather in Colorado. And food is really good. They don't have Wi-Fi, so they don't want people staying and like working for hours. But I was able to just edit, which I don't need Wi-Fi for. So I got a little bit done, but I'm about to go take Jess um, some lunch and her lemonade at Weathervane. They told me like their lemonade is so phenomenal. Like they, they, her and Tommy were talking about it like all night. So I had to go try it. It is a lemon, le <laughs> it is a lemonade infused or steeped or something with herbs. So let's try it. It is good. It has a very like earthy herbal flavor to it, but I really like it. Also, it's just hot as fuck right now, so I think that's why. Um, okay, we're gonna just stop by her salon. She's a great hairstylist here in Denver. And so we're gonna go to her salon, drop her off lunch, and find a new location slash cafe slash coffee shop where I can go work at even more. I can't go work at her house, but I just use it much better when I separate myself from like home environments and like I have to be, I can't be distracted. So, all right, let's go. I love how he like pokes his head so hard. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. 